Hello, 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 hello. So let us get into this. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well. I thank you for liking the video, sharing and subscribing. Your support is abundantly appreciated. So please do continue to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We will be looking for you at how you're feeling, what's going on with you today. What's going on in your energy today, my dear? Your energy today is represented by the death card, which is endings, new beginnings, or death, literally. Um, it feels, honestly, when I penetrate this message, this energy of the death card, it um, feels like transition or a realization. It's the feeling of something dawning on you about all the, the bad negative energy that you've had inside. And you're ready to now release it. It's the energy of the truth is now being told to you. Okay? And you're like, oh, okay. I get it. It's more humble, like, oh, that's what they've been up to. And it's just like finding out someone betrayed you or it was like the entire village, like your entire family, possibly. Something like that. And it's like so hurtful, but you're not angry. It's, you're like absorbing it. And you're like, okay. All right. And this realization of all of that dark energy, the confusion, the suspicion, the the feelings, the intuition that maybe you've been suppressing. I feel like you've been suppressing a lot of yourself with the death energy, a lot of your emotions, the telling of your own calling, your own emotions. It's like um, you grew up in a space where you were never listened to or you weren't, be, you weren't able to express yourself fully how you wanted to. And you made excuses for it. You thought that people were just being who they were and maybe you weren't that quiet. You weren't that outspoken anyway and it's okay. And you allowed everyone to be who they, they are and you love everybody the same way. But then you're getting a realization that they were deliberately shutting you down. Like they willingly, deliberately shut you down because they don't care and they don't really wish to hear about you. And I feel like... They may have been behind your back laughing, snickering, as if you were the other one out, oh, really, and you found this out, that's the dead energy, that's the dawning. You're like, really? That's what's up. And this is bringing, it's so, it's kind of beautiful and promising at the same time because you're controlled in your energy. You know, you're not reacting, you're responding. It's, even though it may hurt, it feels like it's not painful because this energy is, is a lot. It's like, now I feel like you can be yourself. It's, like, it's almost like it is sad with the death energy of today. But at the same time, no, it feels free because your baseline energy is the sun. And you see the sun rising in death vibration here, over yonder. Okay, over yonder. So you're about to come up. You are the sun. So you are the sun, but this is the current vibration that covers over your, your like your aura, your energy, the worrisome things. It's like I'm feeling the energy of someone just sitting by themselves thinking by the river with a stone in hand, just really thinking like what's going on, really contemplating things and I feel you get an answer. Yeah. Like you always knew that so you were different. Anywho, so that's the energy with the death. Um, something like realization coming through. I feel now you feel like you can live your, your life, express yourself how you feel. You feel more courageous, more free. You know what I mean? Like you feel like, oh, no, I can speak how I feel like speaking. No, I can express myself because I now know the truth. No, I will express myself. And who don't like it, bite it. That's the vibration like trampling over. Like a like you just woke up from the dead, honestly, with the death card, like the sun vibration. The, all of your emotions, everything you've suppressed, the, all of you. It's coming back from childhood and family relations, okay? And connections. Connections to family, connection to love, to healing, to a broken heart. 
it's going to be replaced. It's going to replace your broken heart. This realization of who you, your soul, of your soul self, the sun. Um, but this dawning, this realization is promising. But I do feel like you will still need healing. You will still need to, even after you move away, you walk away with the Eight of Cups. Because the Eight of Cups is obstacle vibration. So maybe you need to walk away, listen to yourself, start listening to your own intuition. You know, I'm getting the energy of like just moving away from everyone else. And maybe going to the hills and letting everyone know how you feel. Letting them know you're moving away from them. Like, listen, I'm not, I don't want to do this. I have to go chill. Because now the truth is revealed with the sun. And they are aware of how you feel now, your truth. Now you leave them to deal with what they have to deal with. And now you continue on your journey forward with the ace. Because with eight cups, you're leaving... Oh, oh sorry. <coughs> so be on your journey. I was about to say you're leaving seven cups behind and taking one cup ahead, which would be the ace of cups. But you know, but you're leaving all eight cups behind. Could be eight people. It's like you're leaving everything behind except yourself. And even yourself, there's nothing that you're taking with you. The emotions, all of that, the energies of people wanting to speak with you, to hush you, to apologize, to explain whatever it is. Like, none of that really matters. It's like, no, it's me, beer. Look, this person is naked with the sun. You know, it's me, beer, to who I am, and I need to find myself. This is kind of serious for you today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is this the red, red hair? All right, so is a transformation going on for you that you are taking control of? Like I was saying, like you're rising up from the dead. You know, it's almost like it's your spirit that's moving. And it's like your true spirit. I'm getting the energy of something, like going to war, spiritual war, I don't know. Like, the, you know the energy in Lord of the Rings where um, the horsemen come back from the dead to fight that final battle. So you can see them, but you know that they're from the dead. So I don't know, this is something. Maybe you lost someone in spirit, in flesh. And then we have this brother now in yellow hair looking like he's begging for forgiveness. He's, he's associated with religion and, and I literally just heard Antichrist. The one that they don't want you to shine. And they're about to trample. So you, you trampled some before. You're about to trample this one too. See, the horse's foot is up already. You know what I mean? And I, you, you know. Let's see what the, clarify the death card, please. <laughs> oh my God. The Ace of Swords, that's so beautiful. That means, because the Ace of Swords is, oh my God. It's like risen. The Ace of Swords is Christ consciousness. What am I talking about? It's like the sun. I was saying Antichrist. And the sun. The Ace of Swords for me is like Christ consciousness beyond. It's like supreme wisdom intelligence. A higher awareness of even yourself. Now look at you walk with this sword. Oh my God. I feel like you're going to heal yourself. It is not easy. Like going toward this hurt, this broken heart of yours, it's not easy because even here, it is competitive for even yourself. Healing yourself is not easy. It's like this heart is locked up in a cave and it's a monster. And you take it, it's like you're going toward this heart, it may lash out at you. So there's a part of you that may be suppressed cancer and it may be angry it's so broken you have a lot to say with this ace of swords oh my god a lot of truth to speak 
I let her light to give. I let her power. You have a powerful force of love. And I feel like maybe that's why you're hurt because you feel such powerful force of love. And it can also become a powerful force of hate and vengeance. So how you wield that sword? How are you coming back to life after you found this truth out today? Um... Yeah, and now I'm feeling power in you. It's not subtle anymore. You're not taking it easy anymore. You're upset. You want to charge. You want to speak. You want clarity. You want to face this, you know. And these people are facing theirs. The anti-you, which we will see in this reading, Antichrist. Death marches upon them with the sword this death card is is um is it like an angel with a flag it is a come it's as if it is a promise that the end is like like they had to end it's like a signal to the like when batman sends out that signal it is like that time with the flag and they come a marching and these people knew you know your enemies are whatever these people are because the death energies also can stare in vibration really in, in tarot okay so you are bringing this <laughs> oh my god okay so it's like they knew even if they betrayed you or hurt you or told lies or exploited you or took liberty of you they knew their day was about to come and so when they see this flag coming it, why and they're still afraid to face theirs and they know they wronged you they see this marching sword they see the truth now, they're, will they, are they willing to face this truth, these people? Okay, you're putting an end to this. You are. You're telling you now are in charge, I feel. As you tell, you, um, what did I say? Relate. It's not even relating. It's like speaking up on. It's the energy of when Christ himself would speak. You know, there's just truth. The light. So when you speak. What is it's not like beckon, but when you speak over these people and they listen, you clear up everything, you denounce all that they have put in place and put in your way. And those that were are with you will represent and show themselves to you and will be spared. But the ones that deliberately exploit you and mock you and took liberty of your light. <laughs> the sword they shall meet you know but like i was saying going back to you healing your broken heart we're getting there we're getting there my darling you know it's something about trust learning to trust and you're about to realign with a part of you that you've lost you felt alone a lot in this game with your broken heart alone a lot isolated desolate angry spinning around back and forth pacing not knowing even what to do with these feelings and these emotions these thoughts perpetrating fear and doubt and anger and sadness and i say perpetrating because it keeps itself there it keeps repeating these things in itself it itself doesn't want to face healing because it is scared to step out of the cave this broken heart person but lo and behold this death energy are come right and it is not fearful it is not afraid to face this aggressive part of you or this broken part of you that is fearful it is afraid of connection yeah it's afraid to connect and that's the most fearful part of it because your broken part is afraid to connect because of how, all it's been through but this force this death energy with this ace of swords that's coming to this cave where your broken heartedness is with itself it's not afraid and it's coming with such a powerful force of love and self-awareness that it's marching right into you and it's when and it's 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 like you oh my god what is this it's like light recognizing light at first sight really 
and feel your heart. Oh my God, this is powerful because the six of heart, the six of cups, our six of heart is three of hearts and three of hearts together. And then we have the three of swords here, which is the broken heart. So look how hearts mending and healing. Like I said, it's two lights coming together, two three of hearts, two healed hearts. As soon as you see this powerful force of love that is coming toward you, you're no longer afraid. I mean, you that is in this cave. You know what I mean? You're, it's, you're no longer afraid to embrace and to connect because you recognize this as not wanting to harm you or to hurt you. You recognize this as a long lost part of you and all of this that's coming up that's a long lost part of you to reconnect to this more sensitive side of you that you've blocked away it all had to do with all the suppressed emotions the denial the parts of you that ran away because you weren't listened to or you weren't heard or considered or cared for so those parts of you that ran away told themselves listen i'm not going back out in this world you were angry and this love coming toward you it's Look at this. It's like your light immediately ignited. There was no fuss or anything. It's like your light... Ugh, I can't explain it. It's like your light just started to glow as soon as you saw this sword coming through the entrance of the cave. And this sword knew what is powerful force of love coming even from you as cancer. This is two water signs aligning. And even as you meet... And become one. This is the one you've become in the middle. The ace of cups. The one. So you know. Um, a lot of integration for you. That's coming because of truth. Acceptance of truth. Acceptance of your emotions and your realization. Acceptance of your environment. Of what you're going through. Of who you are. And as soon as you accept those and do whatever you need to do, speak some truth, hold it to yourself, move on, heal. You're coming together as one to realign the parts of yourself that were disintegrated from a younger age. It's powerful and it's so beautiful. We have the temperance. So have faith, have patience in the making and in the moving of all things. Angels protect you, guide you here powerfully. You have intuition that is connected to the divine. Your third eye is alive. The sun is important in your life. Get sunlight. Okay, the sun the sun is connected to your heart, your soul, for real. I feel like whenever you stand in the sun, it goes, it's like, oh, medicine. I hear, I hear the word medicine. So it's like medicine to your heart, the sun, and your soul, the feet. So walk barefoot. Your heart and your third eye can connect to the sun's light. It's going to help you to be more powerful in who you are as a person. To get this force of love so that you can find other parts of you that's, that needs you. That needs to connect and, loves, and wants that love that you have to bring forth to it. Um, if you need the help of law enforcement, angels, spirits, and guides, you need to pray, call on that. You have the sword. Remember, the sword is the word. Okay? The sword is the word. <laughs> you are powerful thrills. And then we have what you're leaving behind, the king of pentacles. So maybe money ideas. This could be a person, a wealthy person, or a financial institution, or a what is that? Feelings, the need to be enslaved to money idea like that. Because this person feels like one who just thinks of money, making more money. <laughs> um, and is not connected to soul maybe. So maybe you're leaving that behind. You can, as I say, connect more to your feelings. Mm-hmm. And I feel think more positively. Think on the upside about your dreams and your visions. Think on the upside. And I feel like you're walking away from connections that are not serving you. Like I say, you're going to take that time away emotionally, spiritually, physically. Because things are revealed. 
Okay. The people that disconnect from you, they may care, or one of them, or a few. They may care about you, but maybe they don't know how to show that. You know, but at the same time, they do hurt you in their own way, and you have to look out for yourself. So let's see. Yeah. All right, that's that for that. Let's see what else wants to be clarified. I don't feel. I feel like we did that. That was that. Any other messages? What is the eggs of swords? See, yes. The eight of swords, like, it's the dream come true energy. And it's really seeing, you know, think better and more hopeful about your dreams, your visions, the things that you want to manifest. A home, perhaps, because think more hopeful about what you want. Yeah. Despite the situation or the environment, be positive. Why, why, why would you stand in your own way? You know, don't stand in your own way with your thoughts. So even if it means working deliberately on your own thoughts so that they don't stand in the way of you manifesting what you want, Work on your thoughts. Get outside. Get some sunlight. Connect to earth. Connect to your heart space. Love yourself. Want the best for you. You know, let your thoughts want the best for you too. Open up. Be free. Be free in mind. Huh? Okay. Um, any more clarification for that? Well, your dream comes through again. The Ten of Cups comes out once more for that energy. Like that sun rising in the distance. You know, it's like give thanks. New breakthroughs in love and a promise. What is... And I feel like someone is facing their judgment as things are being brought into balance. Truth is coming to light healing taking place what's more something is moving out and being exposed is the energy of water wasn't flowing and as soon as water begins to flow which is may, which may be true information memory or dreams whatever begins to come back for you inspiration insight trusting in your instincts once all of that begins to flow i'm getting a little marsh area marshy area water begins flowing through there and this one comes marshy right because it's so green but it was hiding in this marsh area because your water wasn't flowing and it may have been leaching up off of you like it's been there gathering all of this greenery and wealth sitting there looking well but your water is flowing your intuition and it's kind of washing this out this king of pentacles so it's being exposed and also released from you at the same time. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you. Let's clarify the sun as you are. Oh. Alright, so that's very powerful with the sun energy. We got temperance. Just guidance, protection, connection to divinity, connection to the sun. The sun is in the midst here. Prosperity for you. Give and take. Emotional balance. Feeding your soul. Feeding your soul. Right? That's what we're talking about. Feeling in the elements around you. Water. When was the last time you went in water? For real. Went outside. Connect to the trees. Plant a garden. Stay hydrated fortune blessings coming up with the sun energy i feel like on your journey i feel prosperity um like good feelings more things that you're going to be happy about shifts dynamic things magical things too 
for you i see financial independence and you coming into your power really standing out having risen from the dead emotionally you're finding your worthiness here with the nine of pentacles um it's like the eye of the, the eye of the tiger it's coming in a vibration powering up from the inside out as you glow to attract more and more of what you want you've worked on this the seed has been planted mm -hmm. you received a gift that blessed you because of some all the wrongs okay and you're making you're putting it to work with the tree of pentacles and people are watching you like let me see two people <clears throat> or two situations or something may align that puts you on top makes you successful or victorious or gets you crowned could be your intuition or your gifts, like I say. This feels like ancestor energy. It's like you're walk you're like literally walking with the gifts of your ancestors, like tribal energy. You know, like you are the one in the village that sees. That's how this card feels to me. And I feel like you've been seen while you were working and someone came to you to tell you about this position as seer of the village and i don't know something happened <laughs> celebration happened um success happiness uh okay partnership um okay you found it's it feels good i feel like basically you are happy you know, I feel like you've stamped. There's, you know, let me let that stay right there. And you know where to find your happiness. Okay. So, like I say, dance in the rain. Make me want to take my clothes off and go dancing in the rain. Well, that's not, they're not in the rain, but that song came through. But it's like dancing. Someone, they're out barefooted having fun swinging all right these are your messages today is sunday have a beautiful day um, much love to you prosperity and abundance along your journey may all be revealed to you that is meant to be revealed to you um, may you feel the space the energy the clairvoyance to deal with this and the power of love as the cards are speaking of to face this may you unite with your parts of you that you're coming into alignment with here uh thank you for being here my darling remember that you are all all is within you you can be do have everything and anything in this world you desire because you're all um remember on your way out hit the like button and share the video with those you love hit share share to your facebook whatsapp blog and also subscribe if you have not yet done so much love and appreciation take care bye